Today is the fifth annual invitation wrestling tournament named in memory of former Samuel High School wrestler Ara Kunjin. During his years at Samuel High School, Ara earned three letters in each of the sports of football and track and field, and four in wrestling, wrestling where he was a two time Rio Honda League champion. At the age of 16, Ara was diagnosed with one of the recurring brain tumors and was forced to undergo radiation and chemotherapy treatments and eventually brain surgery. Ara continued to participate in all sports and felt that wrestling was like a religion in which he found peace and commitment. He was not flashy, but an inspiring competitor. Ara passed away in 2010 at the age of 42. But through you and your participation in this tournament, the fighting spirit of Ara Kunjin lives on. On the mat, please welcome Fred Soul, one of Ara's coaches at San Marino High School. Ara's father, son of peace. His brother, Garrett. His cousin, Martin. And Lenny Boyd, the director of development of Titan Mercury Wrestling.
is the hope for many seeking to make a better life. When you think of many of the countries that are able to put Olympic medalists and gold medalists, that they cannot compete in any other sport but wrestling because this, the individual has the power to choose and, and do their best. And I think that's what's great about the sport. That was what was great about my cousin. He was very genuine. He was the real deal. There was nothing phony about him. And uh, I'm just very pleased to be here and, and uh, just to share his faith in God. And, and, and no time better in this world can we seek to understand one another, to seek for forgiveness, to seek understanding in the world. And I think that. Uh, he would be to all that uh, the world needs some healing. And I just uh, really appreciate the sacrifices that uh, everyone has made to make this event possible, to honor his name in the proper way. And thank you, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for being part of a uh, historic event. I just love the fact that Poway uh, are the Titans and San Marino are the Titans. It's kind of like a clash of the Titans, the old legend. And, uh, I also want to thank my uncle, Sarkis, for just being a, a mentor to all of us and helping us to seek uh, excellence in what we do. Uh, he has inspired me, and uh, the family is just a tremendous support to the community and to the sport. And just really, we sometimes don't realize how much people thank you to Mo Laura and Joe Lardo and Andy Barth and John Alamito and all the coaching staff at San Marino for really taking this program to levels that nobody had ever imagined. So, and, and I congratulate Titan Mercury on their World Super Medal at the World Cup of Wrestling Freestyle. The World Cup will be coming back again and get, we got to get fan base in wrestling. What sport is more to the core and you've got to give everything of yourself? got to completely be totally 100% committed to get to the highest levels. And, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not asking for hundreds of million dollar contracts. We're just asking to let us be Olympic, Olympians, Olympic champions, make life better for people. And this, the, the mentoring that goes on, the kids that are mentored by individuals all over the world, literally all over the world, so, this board is a preservative for many of the core values that this world needs at this time. And thank you for your patience. Well, I'm glad everybody's here. Welcome. I'm Wayne Boyd. I work with Titan Murphy Wrestling Club, and I had the honor to uh, bring John Azevino to San Marino to work with some of the coaches that already existed here. And uh, this tournament has become very important to us. It's our first tournament of the year. It's nice to see Poway here. It's nice to see Palm Desert bring some competition. John, we're gonna have to get a little more ready next year. Gonna bring the big guns in. You gotta have a cannon. So uh, it's just an honor to be in a room full of wrestlers and coaches that understand what it is to get out here and do battle another to want to win yet be able to hug somebody after a match. You know, the world's in a terrible state and wrestling can help mend problems because wrestling is families. Wrestling is guys that have discipline and courage and want to do good things. I was just in Iran for 10 days. We won the Silver Cup, the World Clubs Cup Championship. It's a serious competition. 15 nations lost to Iran in the finals. They had five world champions on their team. We didn't have our world champions. I think uh, Kyle Snyder was here last night and earlier today. I hope everybody enjoyed Kyle Snyder, the youngest world champion in the history of wrestling. You know, to do what he accomplished took a lot of work. Now, there's an Olympic champion in this room somewhere. There's a world champion. There's a state champion. And the thing that differentiates you from some of the
somebody else is your belief level. If you can conceive that you can be a champion and believe you can be a champion, you can certainly achieve being a champion. How many champions we got in this room? We're all champions. Come on, let's hear it. So nothing's more important than the fans, the parents. We need fans in this sport. We need it when we bring a team like Cowboy and Pound Desert and San Marino's here. You got top two teams in the state. Pop Desert's coming on strong. You got other teams here to be respected. And we need more fans. This sport needs more fans. But to the people who are here, I say congratulations. Give yourself a hand. Never been a 